What can I offer to my man is being committed to him. And of course, like I will consider my man as my king. Mm. I'm going to build my empire with my king. Wow. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. I'm Rodeline and today we're joined by Miss Rowena and we're excited to get to know her a little bit better, so stay tuned. Hello, Miss Rowena. Hello, Miss Rodeline. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? So far, feeling good. That's great. Anyway, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, everyone. I'm Rowena, and my ID number is 217996, and I am 33 years old from Mandawi City. Are you working right now? Yes, currently working as a private tutor, and then we're looking for another job. Miss Rowena, why did you join a foreign affair? I joined in a foreign affair, of course. At first, I would like to meet new sets of people, mm -hmm. new acquaintances, and hopefully to join in a group tour. All right, so Miss Rowena, I believe you joined the social. So how was your experience? Well, I joined the social last May 24, mm -hmm. first, but so it was a spectacular night. I met a lot of ladies there and few handsome men. Then it was a memorable moment for me mm -hmm. since it was my first time joining a social event like that. So I was really eager to attend another set of social event. <laughs> Did you have a date after the socials? Sad to say it at home. <laughs> oh, don't worry, maybe next time. I'm we'll looking have... forward to someone, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you seeking a foreign man? I'm seeking for a foreign man because first and foremost was I tried Filipino guy mm -hmm. twice. Oh. One first boyfriend was when I was 20 years old and then I thought he was the one so he broke my heart and then the second one was the father of my children still he broke my heart left us just like ghosting us mm. and now so I feel that oh I think being in a Filipino man, it's not my path. So I'm trying to find someone who could fulfill and give the love that I'm looking for, especially the respect. Because in a relationship, is what I'm looking for is someone who could respect me as mm -hmm. who and what I am and also being fully committed. Because in a relationship, you can be loyal, mm -hmm. but it's hard to find someone who could be faithful to you. Yes, yeah, I agree with that. And maybe your luck will be in a foreign man. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to find my luck here. Yes. Well, you're in the right place. Right. Yes, because a uh, foreign affair is a perfect place for me. Yes. And then it's really a good track for me. You like What do you like about foreign men? Well, to be with a foreign man, of course, if we are going to compare to the Filipino men, mm -hmm. there are really a big or great differences because Filipino men nowadays, they are really looking for a woman who have a fair skin. Mm -hmm. But me, as a woman of color, it's really difficult, especially to my hair. So for me, a foreign man is not only looking for you physically, but who will look forward for your good attitude, the behavior of what kind of person you are, and of course, to motivate you and support you no matter what. He is there always to, in your low and highs. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the word respect there, because the word respect have a great impact in my life. Yes, that's the most important. Miss Rowena, what does a truly fulfilling romantic relationship or partnership look like for you? For me, a truly fulfilling partnership look like for me is that you are engaging both. You have the qualities of being agreeing. If ever you have insights, you can open up to that special someone you have. 
and then that special someone also is eager to listen to you mm -hmm. have an open mind mm -hmm. and then be optimistic to hear your side and also in a relationship also there is love because for me i believe love is not only a word it's not a feeling only it's a verb so meaning the word love is a verb which is action word you are going to show it to your partner are the looks or physical appearance of a man important for you for me physical appearance is not that big deal for me whether white or black as long as he will do as a manly giving to someone or to the person he loves of course the five languages of love mm -hmm. those are the giving services giving gifts and then quality time quality time physical touch, like physical, physical touch mm. affections or word of affirmation mm. because what's the use of always saying i love you from the bottom of my heart mm. if his action is not really parallel to his words mm. because action speaks louder than words yes that's true so does a man's age matter for you man age is really doesn't matter at all because Age is just a number. Mm -hmm. What challenges do you think you are likely to face as your husband ages? For me, as what I have said earlier is age is just a number. Mm -hmm. If a foreigner age from 60, 70 or 80, something like that, it doesn't matter. As long as he is still willing to mingle, mm -hmm. he can do anything and I will support him no matter what, doing physical activities adventurously or just staying somewhere very quiet and talking. And then in my age as 33 years old, I think I can handle him mm -hmm. and most of the time to be with him, to support, to care with him and of course to motivate him. It's okay your age is like that. You are much older than me. As long as your heart only beats for me. Wow, amazing. <laughs> That's so wonderful, yeah. Miss Rowena, what's your ideal first date like? For me, my ideal first date like is simply eating in an overlooking place, a quiet place, very romantic and of course before arriving in that place I expect that he will surprise me with a bouquet of flowers because <laughs> I've never never experienced that and I really really want to feel how it looks like, how mm. it feels to be treated that way. I'm sure you're gonna experience it soon. Soon. Yeah, very soon. <laughs> As a girlfriend or as a future wife, what can you offer in a relationship? Well, as a girlfriend or as wife soon, what can I offer to my man is being a 100% wife, being committed to mm -hmm. him. Because in a relationship, first of all, you need to be committed 100% mm -hmm. to your husband. I need to be always there for him in my ups and downs, in his ups and downs. And then there should be always a bond, there should be a union, there is always unity between me and my husband. And of course, the one thing is, I will take good care of him, I will serve him as my king because I'm not bragging something. I won twice already as a queen mother wow, and then hopefully competing in Cebu City as a queen mother. So I, I will consider my man as my king. Mm. I'm going to build my empire with my king. Wow, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Ms. Rowena, how long would you date a foreign man before accepting a marriage proposal? For me, there's no such time as long as you will know that he will treat you well because for me i really want to grow i want to see that person in my future mm -hmm. i want that person to hear from him that i am part of his plan in the near future mm -hmm. that he could see himself with me in the future yes mm -hmm.
Why do you think couples marry? For me, I think couples marry each other because it's a union. If tying the knot, and of course, from the eyes of God and the eyes of many people, you are being together, you are bond to each other as husband and wife. There should be a union to have more blessings because in a relationship also, God is always in the center of your relationship because mm. there is no God your relationship will not be working mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. union or... In union also, there is fully commitment to your husband and husband full commitment to his wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. Miss Rena, what do you think is the role of a husband? The role of a husband for me is, of course, being the foundation in your family. Mm -hmm. Just like building a house. Building a house, you need to build a foundation first. So that person, that guy, or that man, or my husband-to-be, he should be a good foundation to our family. He need to be strong enough to protect us. No matter what typhoon, or no matter what earthquakes it will hit to us, in any struggles that will hit us, he is strong enough to protect his family. Mm -hmm. And of course, to support um, emotionally, mentally, and physically. For me, my rule as a wife is simply to be on his side as always and serve him, to take good care of him, and give him happiness day and night. Wow! <laughs> Miss Rowena, do you want to marry a rich man? In my case, status of a person doesn't matter for me at all. As long as he is capable enough to support me, to support my family, not only financially, but most importantly is emotionally. Mm -hmm. He should be always there because what is the help of having marrying a rich man if he is busy all the time? He has no time for me. He is busy with his business. So for me, as long as he is in average only. Because quality time is the most important for me. Mm. Yeah. Many people say that once a Filipina gets to her new country, she becomes westernized, she becomes materialistic and demanding. So what do you think about this common belief? I rather buy food rather than buying anything or any material things because I am not there to impress people like buying a luxuries bag with jewelries. I'm not like that. As you can see, I don't like really something like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not that kind of materialistic person. So now I'm going to cut that not all women are materialistic person. Yes, that's true. If I want to have that thing, I need to work hard for it. How do you handle conflict or disagreement in a relationship? For me, conflict or disagreement in a relationship is that it's really normal in our norms. Because there is no perfect relationship no, having fight or having a disagreement. But for me, in many conflicts or struggles in a relationship, I pass it through. I just let it pass. Mm -hmm. If he is mad at me, I just let him be mad at me. I will hear his side mm -hmm. and at the same time, he will hear my side as well. Because it's just like give and take. Listening to each other is a way of understanding each other. Once you are done saying what made you upset, it's just a simple cuddle or a simple hug is my medicine for that. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Rena, if your future husband is watching, what do you want to say to him? Hi, hello, my future king. Thank you for watching. And hopefully, you will be the one that I'm looking for. I'll be looking forward to see you here in Cebu. Hopefully, soon. Thank you. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Check out our website at 
filipino-bry.com. Filipino